Hi everyone, uh, in this video I will show you how to install the standard 3-point um, HK canvas sling to the MP5, um, but it will be a little bit, bit different setup uh, than it's actually meant by HK to be attached like. So uh, the standard way we have this buckle goes to the front, this buckle goes onto the loop on the rear, and you're done. But um, the way I'm talking about is the way that Navy SEALs have done it, and um, I believe USMC uh, SRT operators, um, I have seen uh, reference pictures of both, uh, Navy SEALs from the early 90s and uh, SRT I believe after 2000 not quite sure but I think after 2000 and um, thing is they managed to feed through the sling through this loop you would say okay just go ahead feed through this buckle there's no way so how did I do it I think I have uh, figured out the correct way to do it. Um, I have no confirmation for that, but um, after many, many tries, this seems to be the only way uh, to do it. And um, some have suggested that um, they have undone the sewing, the stitching, and feed it through, then uh, sewing it back. Um, I think that's too complicated and I don't think they would have done that. So uh, let me show you what I think they have done. So in order to do that we first need to disassemble the sling and this is how we do it. We take this buckle, the lower part goes through here and back and out. Okay, then we take this buckle and in the same fashion, lower part first, then the upper part, and out. We can put this aside, we don't need that anymore. And the final step is to disconnect from this buckle. So now we have two parts of the sling, two straps. On one side of this, uh, on one strap, we have this large buckle, and free side. Okay, that's the first part of the sling. The second part is with this front buckle and on the end this buckle. Just to show you, we cannot feed this buckle through the loop or as you have seen this one. No way. So here's what you're gonna do. First off, Take your gun and take this part of the sling, like that. The buckle is bent, turn it this way, like that. Take the end and feed it through, feed it through the loop, like that, all the way. So now take the other part of the sling and simply feed it through here. Upper part, lower part, and we're in. Here we go. Attach it to the front of the gun, like that. Okay, and here we go. Last step. Take this end and the other end and simply connect them like that and you're done. Here it is. We have the sling through the loop, we have the front part attached here and we have also the moving part. So I'm not saying it's 100% done like that, but it's for sure the easiest, quickest way 
to get the same result um, as seen on the reference pictures. So I'd like to hear what you think. Um, hope this video was useful and feel free to comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.